push to retake Kherson is symbol of Ukraine's cautious confidence. Ukraine declared this week it had begun a counteroffensive aiming to retake Kherson, the one city Russia holds west of the Dinars River, prompting a fog of uncertainties to decents on how the effort was progressing. Never mind whether it could success. Oleksiy Arestovich, a key adviser to the president, Volodymyr Yelensky stressed it there would be no quick wins as the attack in the south began, a point reflected in briefing on Friday by Western official. Speaking on condition of anonymity, the official said Ukraine has pushed back the Russian defenders in several places, but insist it was too soon to name villages taken or distance gained while fighting was going on. The caution may be realistic, but it is also telling. This is not in any sense a bizarre case or a broad front attack, but rather a localized effort to strike at the most obvious strategic vulnerability in the Russian front line and try to demonstrate that Ukraine can drive the Russian back in place before winter sets in. It is a struggle about Kyiv's ability to act proactively as much as it is about recapturing the occupied city itself. The fact that Ukraine can mount it, has decided to mount it, is, as you know, every significant and shows a degree of confidence, which is encouraging, one official added, arguing in effect that any switch or offensive from defensive on Kyiv's part has to be considered significant giving what it has withstood so far. Ukraine has been engaged in several weeks of preparation activities. There have been repeat strikes at strategic bridges into Kyrsons and at multination dumps and strange posts in the Russian years. East of Dnipro, in occupied Kyrson and even in Crimea, using mixture of Western supplies Himmer and M270 rocket artillery and daring behind the lines raid. However, while these eyes catching attacked will recreate Russian logistic, they have also allowed time for reinforcement. The occupier troops number west of the very rivers have gone up from a few thousands to about twenty thousands, based on the latest Western estimates. In other words, the supply lines have not yet been served. Range against them are likely to be similar. Numbers of Ukrainian troops although the conventional's measure for military success is a superiority of 3 to 1, all of which again suggests progress is likely to be difficult. We are advancing in some areas and being better in others, one wounded Ukrainian soldier told the Wall Street Journal from a hospital this week. Nevertheless, the fundamental ought to favor Ukraine for already damaged bridges are keys to resupplying Kyrgyzstan, and while Russia has set up potions alternative, Ukraine say it can hit them. A long sage type campaign may be enough to persuade the invaders they are wasting soldiers and resource trying to hang on, though there are many reasons for Russia to not concede. It is obvious that the stake are if Russia's can hold on, the Kremlin will feel it is a strong place to consolidate all the gains it has made across Ukraine through its enforced Russification and shame refundums. The Kremlins will also feel it has damaged Kyiv's political reputation in the progress. Moscow wants the West to feel supplying Ukraine's with modern weapon is not working and for Ukraine's population to tire of the fighting. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.